The following video is rated PG. Tonight, the blue team is up for elimination, but only one contestant will not make it to the merge. But who will it be? It is time to find out. There's so many things that are keeping my mind. Welcome to another episode of Mincraft Elimination Zone. Last week you saw the leader of the Reed team, Michael, becoming the third person to be eliminated, and now only the girls rule the team. They won the challenge, but Reese and Guy are in a bitter row. How will it end out? We'll check out the highlights in a bit, but first I want to show you guys the merger council, the successor to the tribal council, and here it is right here. It looks similar to the team selection area you saw from the first two episode, but it has been modified. These are the seats that the contestants have to sit on during the elimination. This is the TV, which is used to reveal who's safe and also how many votes we got. And last but not least, this is the immunity spectator area. This is where the contestant who is safe from elimination can get to sit and watch the elimination go on. Alright, that concludes the tower. Now it is time to check up on the house. As the next elimination is underway, tensions between Guy and Reese don't seem to cool off. Why don't you just shut the hell up? No, you shut up. You clearly have no idea who you are. Clearly, huh? Do you have any idea what a brat you are? You promised me that you would never let your old team down, but you lied to me. Go get a life, loser. To be honest, I feel so helpless. All I did was try to break up an argument, but it was only getting much worse. I don't know what to do. Would you rather die in a fire race? Huh? Is that what you want? That's enough, guy. Stop it. Attention blue team. It is time for the elimination. Please gather at the tribal council. Show's over. Let's go. Alright contestants. This is your last elimination before the merge, so only some of you here will make it to the merge, and only one will not. Now, let's see how many votes we got. This time, we got 7 votes. That is a slight increase, so I won't complain much about it. Now, let's, let's reveal, reveal who is safe. safe. Reese, you are safe. I hope you get eliminated next time, dummy. Shut up! No drama, please. Anyway, let's continue. Warum, you are safe. And Cora, you are also safe. You're good to go. Which means that Guy and Michelle are both up for the bottom two elimination. Only one of them will make it to the merge. I'm shaking so badly right now. I don't want to get eliminated. I want to stay in the game so I can win the money. I just want to be rich. I just don't understand. I'm on the verge of being eliminated all because of a debacle I had with Reese. This is stupid. If I get eliminated, it will be Reese's fault. Now, I'm going to reveal that person who is going to make it to the merge. And that is... Guy. With four votes, you are safe. Thank God. I thought I was going to be eliminated, but I didn't. I'm saved. Now I can get to be on the merge. Which is really cool. Well, Michelle, I'm really sorry to say this, but you have been eliminated. Do you know what you're feeling right now? <laughs> Why did this happen? Why did the viewers want to vote me off? I can't believe I have to go. It's unfortunate to say that you're not the lucky one who made it to the merge, so sadly you are the fourth person to go. <laughs> you don't understand, Deborah. I only started competing in this show because of the money. Now I didn't get it because, I'm out, I'm eliminated, and now I'll stay broke for the rest of my godforsaken life. What am I supposed to do now? I'm sorry to hear that, Michelle. Sadly, no, we don't have time, so in you go. Congratulations Final 8. You have made it to the merge, and both of your teams have been absolved. Wow, 
How about that? I actually made it to the merge. I'm halfway through the game, which is a good thing. It feels good to be in the merge. Although it's pretty strange meeting the guys from the blue team, I'll get choose to it eventually. So, this means both of your teams are now on their own. You are all good to go. Oh, look. The window border is gone. I know, right? We are free to walk around this house whatever we want. Wow. This bedroom looks nice. It's much bigger than ours. Yeah, there are only six beds here, so I'm not sure where we're going to sleep. Man, what a small looking bedroom this is. I'm not used to this. Me neither. Well at first glance, it feels weird walking to the blue team bedroom for the first time. It feels like I have switched to another team like Guided. But, after all, I like it. And I'm not gonna complain about its size. Whoa, look at that. I'm back at the red team, sort of. This is making me homesick. Uh, what is going on? I think you might have to apologize to Reese. Oh, what for? There is nothing to apologize for. Guy, you just made a death threat against a kid. That is unacceptable, not to mention illegal. How can death threats be illegal? That's just my opinion, Leah. Alright, I'm not listening to this. Could you please just- No. You need to apologize to Reese, or there will be consequences. You got it. Okay contestants, this is the first challenge since the merge. As you can see, I am in the ocean with an ocean monument behind me. Anyway, this challenge is going to be a plank survival challenge. It's similar to one of those plank wars challenges from weeks ago, but it's different. You have to stay on the plank as long as you could, and push each other off the plank. The last contestant standing will win the challenge, and the others will be facing elimination. Holy crap, what is this? There's water everywhere. This is freaking me out. Hey, relax. We're gonna get through this together, trust me. Together? What are you talking about? You're not even my boyfriend. This is insane. All of us here have to stand on a plank in the middle of the sea, which is really dumb. All we're doing is nothing but trying to survive here the longest without falling into the water. I mean what is this, battle for Dream Island? Gee, that's a long way down. Is it? Well, try it out. Hey, why did you do that? I can't swim. What are you doing? Why are you guys looking at me like that? No oh 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 oh. I trusted you. Sorry sis. You idiot. I'm gonna get you for this. Ha, damn it. I was just about to hit her first. What are you doing? Are you trying to push me off or what? You arrogant pig. Crap 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 crap. Damn you. No ho ho ho. I slipped. Damn it. Congratulations Leah. You're the only survivor of this challenge, which means you won. Wait, that was it. Did I do it? No way, I did. Woohoo. Yes. Great job sis. But she pushed you off the plank, you don't have to root for her. Oh, whatever. I'm very happy that I won the challenge because it made me look like a queen. Too bad I pushed Charlene off the plank, but that doesn't matter. Back in the house, the contestants discuss who should be eliminated from the game. Well, that was one quickie of a game, wasn't it? Who do you think should go? How would I know? There is no way we would lose a Power Up Alliance member. If we do, we all have to look for a new one. Well, I think Reese should be the one eliminated. Reese? Why him? He's a good kid, guy. He was clearly the one guilt tripping me. What else? Since when did I ever do that to you? Don't you remember? I opened that trap chest and then you said, Guy, it was your fault. Shame on you for what you did. Children, please. We can't have another argument. Remember what happened last time? Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. But what about that death threat you made against me? You stay out- Hey, hey. Leave him alone. Come on, guy. I know you. I thought we used to be friends. When will you ever get your head around? Ha? Huh? You are one useless kid. No except- Oh no. Please don't tell me you're at it again. 
break it up. You break it up, woman. I go kill yourself, kid. Don't you dare threaten. I said, go kill yourself. <laughs> Guy, what the hell did he just do? Did he just spat on a kid? I'm sorry, everyone. I'm very sorry. I mean, how could he do that to me? Why did he spit on me like that? He's lost it completely. I hope he gets eliminated for what he did. I am really shocked. I just don't know what to say. How could Guy spit on Reese and threaten to kill himself? That is just sick and twisted. I mean, has Guy become the next Francis? Guy, please report to the confessional room immediately. Guy, we have just learned from the producers that you have sent out death threats to Reese, which is considered a breach of the rules in the game. We also found that these kinds of rule violations are similar to what Francis did to Claire weeks ago. What I did to Reese was a mistake, and I didn't mean to bully him. In addition, you also spat on Reese's face in front of everyone, and you humiliated him. As a result of these two rule violations, you have been given first and second official warnings. One more warning, and you will be removed from the game. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, I understand. I'm sorry. It won't happen again. I'll try to be more careful and respectful next time. End of. Dear viewers, that is the end of this week's episode of Minecraft Elimination Zone. I mean, wow. I'm just shocked about what I did to Reese. What was he thinking? But anyway, Leah's declared the true winner of the cha the challenge, which means seven contestants are up for elimination, but who will be the fifth contestant to be eliminated? Will it be Claire? Charlene? Crystal? Warren? Cora? Reese? Or especially Guy? Don't forget to vote in the comments below to save your favorite contestant or eliminate the other. Voting will end one's next week's episode premieres. And stay tuned for the new episode of After the Elimination Zone where I'll be interviewing Michelle and also discussing the latest incident in the house. That's over on Curriculum Extra. Anyway, thank you for watching tonight's episode and we'll see you again next time. Good night. <laughs>